Listeria monocytogenes is a gram-positive bacillus most associated with infections in pregnant women. We've played on the list in Listeria for the title Santa's List. So here's Santa with his long list for Listeria. Listeria is said to form a narrow zone of hemolysis when plated, so it is beta hemolytic. We'll add our beta hemolysis light bulb to the top of the Christmas tree. Again, this is a recurring symbol that appeared in our Group A and Group B strep videos. Listeria is modal, and it's facultative intracellular. When it's outside the cell, it uses flagella for motility, and under light microscopy, it looks like it's tumbling, so it's described as having tumbling motility. So we'll draw some ornaments tumbling down the Christmas tree. Notice that they're all purple and elongated, or almost rod-shaped. This should remind you that Listeria is a bacillus, and the purple should remind you that it's gram-positive. So that's motility outside the cell. When Listeria is intracellular, it uses a different mode of propulsion for movement. It rapidly polymerizes actin against the bacterial wall, so that it's propelled along in the opposite direction. They can even jump from cell to cell via this method of motility. Microbiologists liken this type of movement to a rocket. Thus, you might hear the term actin rockets. To represent actin rockets, we'll draw some toy rockets being left as presents. Notice that one rocket is still in Santa's bag. This is to remind you that this method of movement is used when Listeria is inside a cell. Listeria is also catalase positive, so we'll add this cat, which is our symbol for catalase. Now we'll make this Christmas scene complete by making it a white Christmas, and we'll add some icicles to this window. If you're watching from the Northern Hemisphere, you probably associate Christmas Eve with a cold and snowy night. This is exactly what we want you to think about. So that when you think about Listeria, you think about a cold environment, because Listeria is able to survive and even multiply in near freezing temperatures. I apologize in advance to you Southern Hemisphere residents who have Christmas and summer, because of us you're probably going to fail any Listeria questions. At least you saw my jokes. Those are enjoyed universally. <laughs> Anyway, the ability for Listeria to survive in the cold means that they can contaminate food items even if they are refrigerated. These items include unpasteurized milk, packaged meat, and soft cheeses. So we'll add milk, an appropriate item to leave out for Santa Claus. And we'll also add some soft cheeses on this table, an item that's not really appropriate to leave for Santa Claus, because Santa Claus only eats soft cheeses with wine. Which kind of explains why Santa's looking in disbelief at this milk. Pregnant women are almost 20 times more likely to get listeria infections, so they make up a large portion of the total incidence of listeriosis. An infection early on in the pregnancy can lead to early termination. A later term infection can lead to a disease in the newborn. Because of this, pregnant women are discouraged from eating soft cheeses. So to help you remember this, we came up with a special symbol we'll use to represent pregnant women. And it's right here. It's a pregnant woman. As I said earlier, newborns can get disease from the mom. One of these diseases is meningitis. It's actually the third most common cause of meningitis in the newborn, after group B strep and E. coli. We'll have this baby wearing the same meningitis helmet we used in the group B strep video. It'll go perfectly with his new rocket toys he just got. You should also know that listeria causes meningitis in adults over 60. The standard empirical treatment for meningitis in adults includes vancomycin and ceftriaxone to cover gram-negatives and gram-positives, but in the elderly, you also have to add ampicillin to cover listeria. To remember elderly, just remember Santa Claus. He's got to be at least a few hundred years old by now. And this brings me to my last talking point, the treatment for listeria. I just said it's ampicillin. So how are you going to have you remember ampicillin? I guess someone in this household is receiving an electric guitar with an accompanying amp. This amp will remind you of ampicillin. And that's all for Listeria, a pretty fast one.